What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure quick look and this time what we're going to be doing is a comparison between the new 2.0 SH Figure Art Super Saiyan Blue Vegito and of course the Demoniacal Fit Vegito or Ultimate Fighter as they want to call it. And basically what I'm going to be looking at is the difference between these two figures and kind of helping you guys decide which one of these might be better for you because of course they are both really pricey at this point so let's go ahead get these boxes out of the way and take a look at the figures so i'm going to save the price on these for last because i feel like that's going to be something important when it comes to making your decision but i am going to save that for last i'm going to talk about the demoniacal fit version first just because it was the first one to release and for the most part i feel like a lot of this is demoniacal fits own unique sculpt and normally that turns out horrible. The, the Captain Ginyu was terrible. In my opinion, the Jace was terrible. Um, they've just made some pretty bad figures. The Guldo, I believe, is all right. But normally when they try to make a figure head to toe, even if they're copying a mold from Tamashi Nations, like with the um, Tenacious Martialist, sometimes they just don't turn out good, mostly because of quality control issues. It could be maybe the arms are floppy, maybe the legs are floppy, but you don't really have any of those issues with this guy. I have two issues with this figure. One of them is personal. Um, as you guys can see, it's really shiny right around the crotch area. I feel like they could have matted that down so that it would match this one. But um, the other issue I'll, I'll explain when I get to the accessories, but I also really like the hair sculpt on this figure. I know a lot of people were saying it's inaccurate, it's not correct, but I'm not going to agree with that because when it comes to Dragon Ball, the hair sculpts change. Goku has had multiple different versions of Super Saiyan, so as Vegeta. Trunks' normally looks about the same. Gohan's normally looks about the same, unless he cuts his hair or something. But um, it all depends on the artist. So you can't really say it's accurate, it's inaccurate. Because when Vegeta even first came in, his hair was super wild. It was much more shot out, and now it's kind of slim straight up to the point. And so I'm not going to say this hair sculpt is inaccurate. I'm going to say the head looks a little bit small. Uh, that's what my first impression of it was. But when I stand him right here next to the official, it's not that much smaller. So proportion wise and everything paint, I feel like they did a good job. And surprisingly, I have no quality control issues with this figure. Now, moving on to the SHF. This one, I'm going to say I do really like. I haven't had much time to mess with it, but I really love how they did the faces on this one. I know some people don't like it. They say it's a little bit too cartoony or it just doesn't look good in comparison to the rest of the figures. I think it's fine. I really like the shine that they did in the hair. That finish is really dope. Of uh, the Vegito smirk, of course. Uh, some people don't like the lines under the eyes. They say that they look a little weird in comparison to how they normally do it and then another issue i saw people complain about was the v cut here um i did look up some images yes this is definitely more accurate but i don't see this being too much of a problem for me it's weird yeah i don't know why they made this decision but it doesn't take away from it in my opinion and um i think this figure looks phenomenal he comes with some great accessories which of course i'll show the paint job on this one is really really clean but we've grown to expect that from tamashi nations and so overall when it comes to quality on both of these i can say i'm fine with either one i'm not going to say any one of them is better than the other personally i do like this better when it comes to the chest area i feel like that part was done better but other than that tamashi nations killed it and so i'm really happy with this and i'll add this in as well now that I'm looking at it, kind of playing with it, I do like the hair sculpt on this one better. I, I really love it. And it might just be the color, maybe the finish. I don't know what it is, but I do love the hair better on this, this version right here, even though I love the chest better on this one. And this is something I just wanted to throw in for my people who have both. Uh, if you're wondering if you can swap the heads, this is the Demoniacal Fit Body and the SH Figure Arts Authentic one. If you pop this head on here, it's not going to stay. Um, I don't know how clean that looks to you guys. You might like that look a little bit better, but uh, it's not going to stay. Like this head's going to flop all the way around. Now, that being said, if you're a customizer, you know you can heat this up with hot water. 
or even if you're not a customizer, you could still do it. Probably swap these two pegs out and then you would be able to put this head on this body or vice versa if you wanted to do that. If you did like this body a little bit better than the actual authentic product, you could probably swap the parts all the way around if you wanted to do that. So I just wanted to throw that out there for the people who like the body better on the Demoniacal Fit but the head better on the SH Figure Hearts. Now, if you're worried about the height of these figures and how they'll fit in with the rest of your SH figure arts, fear not. Here they are standing next to Vegeta and Goku. These are the authentic SH figure arts versions. And for how tall they stand, both of them stand right at about five and a half inches to the top of the forehead. I think the SH figure arts is a hair taller. Not very much, but as you guys can see, they both fit in very well when it comes to posing them with your SH figure arts. Now onto the more important things, I am going to run through the articulation pretty fast because I've already reviewed the Demoniacal Fit and I'm sure we all know what to expect from the SH Figure Arts. With the Demoniacal Fit, as you guys can see, he looks up about that much, really good, looks down about that much. You can get tilt and movement out of that neck, as you guys can see. It does kind of pop out of there, but I mean the SH Figure Arts do that as well. The arms go up and out about that much. He does have a butterfly joint to help you bring in the arms a bit. Of course, he has a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, hands are on a ball peg so you can move those around however you want. The diaphragm joint is very, very, very effective. He can crunch forward about that much, crunch back about that much. He does get swivel at the waist, foot kicks forward about that much, back all the way. He can do the splits. He does have a thigh swivel. He does have double jointed knees as you guys can see. He does have a little bit of ankle rocker, not much, but it's still there. And of course, he also has a toe hinge. So, Demoniacal fit, definitely passable. And let's check out the SH Figure Arts. Now for the articulation for the SH Figure Arts, he looks up about that much. Actually better than Demoniacal fit. He looks down about that much. Now when you tilt his head down too much, the face does pop off. And also, this was something I was going to say for later, but since it just popped off, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys. The bangs can actually be removed from this figure uh you get an extra set and i'll talk about that when i get into the accessories but uh yeah if you tilt the head down too much it kind of has that go tanks effect where the face will pop off now the arms once again go up and out about that much you do have bicep swivel also have a butterfly joint in there double jointed elbows his hands are on a ball peg diaphragm joint not as effective it, it works but it's not as good as demoniacal fit he crunches back only about that much let me move that arm down a bit crunches forward about that much so not nearly as effective but of course you do get a lot of rotation out of there as you guys can see he kicks forward about that much kicks back all the way and this guy's just popping apart uh, but that's probably my fault uh maybe i'm forcing it a little too much but um yeah it kicks back about that much i'm leaving all this on camera so you guys can see it uh and the leg actually popped out when i moved it forward uh i don't know why i did that but there we go um and anyway as far as the splits go you kind of have to tuck these right into this floating piece right here otherwise it's not going to work but once you tuck it in he can do the splits about that much so that's cool uh he does have thigh rotation he does have double jointed knees that work very well um, now as far as the foot he does get ankle rocker about the same as the demoniacal fit version not a whole lot uh, as far as the toe hinge his toe doesn't go up very much but i think it's enough to be effective so articulation wise i would say about the same this version looks up so much better but the diaphragm joint is way better on the demoniacal fit and just in case y'all think i'm joking i'm gonna show that one more time this is what you get out of vegeto the sh figure arts that's about all you get now when you put this guy down pick this guy up this one goes back about that far forward about that far it just is a little bit more effective so either way articulation's good on both of them so i don't have any complaints now, when it comes to accessories, I'm not going to go over everything with these figures just because, for one, I've already reviewed the Demoniacal Fit. And, of course, there are plenty of other reviews of the Authentic SH Figure Arts 2.0. What I am going to cover is what makes these unique, starting off with the faceplates. With the Demoniacal Fit, of course, you do have his uh, Yosha or powering up face, whatever you want to use it for. 
You do have a standard kind of angry or smug look, which surprisingly you don't get this with the SH Figure Arts. Um, but yeah, you got your more serious look. You do have a teeth gritted face, which this one's actually my favorite. This one looks really, really good. And then you do also, like the SH Figure Arts, get a smirking face. So you can get just about every expression out of Vegito with this one. And then also, <clears throat> excuse me, what makes the Demoniacal Fit version worth picking up, not saying that it's better, but making it worth picking up is it's a two-in-one because the the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Blue versions, they are an accessory pack. So when you get the original, you also come with a default head, which comes with, I believe, two faceplates. And then you get the Super Saiyan head that comes with the same faceplates I just showed for the blue. And this this hair on the Super Saiyan sculpt, it's the same. Actually, all of these are the same. But I don't know what it is about the gold paint on this one. It just looks super, super sick. Now, also, what makes this Vegito unique is you get this accessory that comes with him where he's holding Boo's tentacle. That's just something that's really unique. It's its own sculpt, and I really like the fact that Demoniacal Fit decided to throw that in. But the last thing that he comes with that separates him from the SH Figure Arts is he comes with a pair of crossed arms. Now, granted, these are a P-I-T-A to change, but it's the fact that he still comes with them. And so that's something to be weary of. Now, when it comes to the accessories, I will say this is where Tamashi Nation somewhat dominates with just some of the decisions that they made. I did make a mistake earlier in the review. I might be able to cut it out and I might not. So I'm gonna correct myself just in case. I do believe I said that he had interchangeable bangs. I don't know why I thought you could take the uh, the bangs off of this face where he's kind of looking to the side or charging up Kamehameha or final Kamehameha. I thought you could remove these and put them on the other face plates, but I tried to remove this and it didn't happen. And so I looked at it and I was like, okay, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to come off. But um, yeah, you do get this uh, powering up or charging attacking face. You do get a yelling charging once again face where he's looking forward. The other one was looking to the side. And then you do get this really dope teeth gritted face. Um, you don't get a serious face. That's the only thing I don't really like about this figure. The fact that they didn't include that. But some other unique things that you get you do get a instant transmission hand, and he did use this in the battle with Zamasu, so it's cool that they put that in there. You do get the uh, the classic get over here hand, and I'm glad that they included that. That's just something that they add to kind of spice it up a bit when taking photos or just have it imposed on your shelf. And then you do get another hand for when he's kind of holding Zamasu down when he transforms, and that was super sick. Now, one thing I like as well is just like the demoniacal fit, I didn't show this because it's typical to get the um, the spirit cannon with Vegito. You do get one with him, but it, you can separate the pieces. And I think this is really cool because you can also create it to where like using this, where you see the attack going through Zamasu's back. I think it's really, really dope. And I think I call it spirit cannon. It's spirit sword. But um, yeah, it's really cool that they included this. And then also these base pieces for it. These are really, really sick. Like, I love these. That translucent yellow is so dope. They did a great job on these. And I think that these will just look nice. Even if you don't want to use them for the spirit sword, you can use them for something else. Just like to have them charging up or something or holding like a key blast. This is so sick. But that's not all. To put the icing on the cake you get this super dope final Kamehameha. This is my favorite accessory. This is one of my favorite accessories from Tamashii Nations, period. I absolutely love this. And so I have to say, even though the demoniacal fit is gonna come with two extra head sculpts, I gotta give it to Tamashii Nations on this one. They did a great job with selecting what to include with this guy. Now, all in all, even though it seems like it, this is not a video of me trying to tell you guys which one of these figures is better. This is a video basically of me trying to help you guys decide which one of these figures might be better for you. Now, I know, I know, I know when it comes to demoniacal fit, you do sometimes have to worry about quality control. That's a given. But at the same time, the SH Figure Arts version is rising in price very quickly. If you haven't gotten it, 
you're not going to get him for less than 90 bucks. That I can assure you. Now, that being said, the demoniacal fit is also right around 70, 80 bucks. That's going to include pretty much two figures. You're going to get the base version, the Super Saiyan version, and then, of course, the accessory pack with the blue head sculpts. Now, I know a lot of people have been worried, well, what about the joints that break on the demoniacal fit? If you do buy the blue accessory pack, they include an extra neck peg and two extra wrist pegs. So if you break any of those, you can swap those parts out. And so I feel like it was really good of them to add that or courteous. It was really real courteous of them to add that. That was great on their part. And so while right now both of these are right around the same price, I will say, obviously, most people are going to want to go with the authentic version. But if you want more accessories, more variety, Demoniacal Fit is the way to go. But I will say, if you're planning on getting the authentic, try to get it as soon as you can. Because this is sold out on Premium Bandai. It's sold out all over Japan. People are scalping it on eBay. I think the only place you can get it for even close to retail is Big Bad Toy Store. And I mean, you'll get it in 2022, but at least you'll have it for close to retail. So I don't know. That's my review of these or comparison rather. Um, I'm going to leave it up to you guys to choose. I'm not going to say which is better because I like both of these. I like what they bring to the table. I'm still going to continue to take photos of both. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And lastly, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.